Hi, this is video number 8 in a series of videos where we're making a tank battle game in Unity for Android mobile devices. In the previous video uh, we uh, dealt with uh, the, uh, turret, uh, the turret and uh, the barrel okay and um, <clears throat> in particular uh, now we have uh, full control over our uh, tank okay we can move the uh, barrel up and down and we can rotate it and we can move the tank forwards and reverse and rotate left and rotate right and we now have the features of the tracks okay good now there is one problem that we have with this particular uh, model of tank and that is that uh, when the um, <coughs> uh, barrel is lowered here okay uh, and we uh, rotate the turret around okay uh, you can see that it uh, goes through the um, engine section of uh, this tank okay uh, here all right so that's uh, not uh, not what we want okay so this video is I'm going to show you uh, one way uh, there are many ways of doing this but one way uh, in which to um, basically as this uh, uh, turret revolves and the um, barrel uh, touches the uh, engine section uh, the barrel will move up out of the way uh, and okay so it's, it will stop the collision good all right so <clears throat> that's the subject of this video so let's make a start now what we need to do is we need to think about okay um, we know that on this tank uh, we have lots of colliders and uh, we 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 can kind of say well okay if this collider touches that collider then do something okay so that's the general approach um, but what I, what uh, I'm going to do here is I'm going to say okay we're dealing with the uh, turret and the barrel so on the uh, on the actual barrel here I'm going to uh, create uh, a cube okay and I'm uh, going to move that cube uh, along to the barrel <coughs> and uh, make it smaller. Okay, maybe 1.3, 3, 3 and 3. Okay, and let's go to. Okay, so let's have a look at this. All right, so so what we're going to do here is we're basically going to have this as like a guide. Okay. So when this, um, I'm going to move that down a little bit, okay, yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do here is we're basically going to say, okay, if this cube here touches one of the colliders of this tank, okay, which at the moment it's not, you can see that it's clearly not, okay, here you can see if this cube here if this cube touches like the hull or or another collider that, that that's tagged uh, player okay then 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 that basically means that this barrel uh, which it's attached to is too close to that collider okay that part of the tank so it's going to send a command to the uh, script which controls the barrel to, to move it up and out of the way so that it doesn't collide okay so <clears throat> on here uh, what we'll do is we'll call this cube uh, barrel guide it's like a guide okay and <clears throat> what's uh, what we're going to do with this is uh, we need it to be a trigger okay and uh, on it we're going to attach a rigid body physics uh, rigid body and we're not going to use gravity and now we need to uh, I'm going to apply that because that's part of the this is a prefab this tanks a prefab okay and if we press play now <coughs> um, let's have a look just move this around a little bit so we can see it more easily okay All right if we look around here We can see now that this guide okay is going to 
collide with this engine all right part which is here okay so what we're going to do is going to write a little script and it says okay on trigger enter uh, this cube okay this guide okay if it enters the uh, engine compartment or or the collider here yeah, this collider if it enters this collider which it clearly does okay then we can use that as a signal to do something and what we're going to do is we're going to lift the barrel okay so we need a script to do that so on this barrel guide we're going to uh, put a script so make a C script okay C script yeah and call it uh, tank barrel guide okay and uh, attach that to the barrel guide which is this cube which is now a trigger okay and remember we don't need to see that cube in the game so we can turn off the mesh render but for now leave it on okay so as we can see where it is we might need to move it, it depends on your tank okay this is a, this is a chieftain tank so you know in, in your tank you may not have this uh, problem okay so let's have a look at this script okay well it's <clears throat> quite straightforward it basically says okay on trigger stay okay which means that when this cube is inside uh, a, a, a collider which is within within the collider when it's staying inside another collider uh, then then if that uh, if the tag of that other okay is is player then then go uh, send a message over to the player turret control which is this script that we made in the previous video which for those new to these videos I suggest you go and uh, watch because then you'll know how we how to control the uh, rotation of the turret and the movement of the barrel in this script uh, if you remember here uh, we made this public static ball barrel up equals false okay and uh, the reason why we did that is <clears throat> is because we need to we need to access that okay so what's going to happen is is when this uh, the trigger that's attached to this cube uh, is within or staying yeah inside another collider that's tagged player then it's going to set barrel up to true and you know that if barrel up is true and it's less than the maximum that the barrel can go up all right which is its upward limit okay which in this case is 20 then it will move that barrel up okay because it's true However, we don't want it to just keep moving up and up and up. We want it to stop when it's clear of the engine compartment, okay, of the tank. So we say, okay, when it when it exits, when it's when it's gone up enough to exit that collider, that's tagged player, then set this set this uh, ball, yeah, this ball barrel down to 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 uh, false, okay now so that basically means that because this is in here if it's set to true it'll move up out of the way but if it's not set to true because it's it, it, it'll stop it'll stop moving up okay because it's when it exits that area where it's no longer inside it which means that the barrel which is above this cube couldn't possibly be inside the area okay then it then it'll stop doing it okay so uh, copy that, uh, take a screenshot of that script if you want to. Okay. Now, also importantly, yeah, we're going to send a message here uh, to this uh, console to confirm uh, that this uh, barrel trigger stay is uh, active and this barrel trigger exit uh, is uh, happening when uh, when it exits i.e. when this is if this is working properly we should see this one and 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 this one appearing over here in the console 
so it make sure it's saved and now what we're going to do is test it so this time when this uh, barrel rotates okay and we have a look at the colliders check the colliders here the whole collider is tag player engine player tracks a player so all of your colliders here are tagged correctly player because the script is going to be checking if it is tagged player or not on this barrel guide all right put that script on the bottom there apply it okay and see if it works so and again it depends on what tank you're using uh, but this can be used in many many situations all right so let's have a look so now we're going to uh, we're going to rotate our, 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 our turret right now let's move this turret down it, it goes this barrel down okay it goes down as normal but if you if you see now okay in the console it says on trigger stay on trigger exit all right so see now it, it's basically it's hitting this collider this hull collider yeah and it's sending the message over it okay move the barrel up because it's uh, inside the hull collider we don't want that so to move this up so it doesn't matter how many times you try and move this barrel down it will always uh, try and move back up so it solves that problem now let's have a look at this at the back of this tank because this is the main problem area here keep rotating okay now before you see that before it was crushing straight into that and going right the way through the engine compartment which which is not a good idea okay okay and, and it, it it just wouldn't be allowed to happen in the real world so so let's have a look again so as it approaches it's moved up out of the way to a safe height and then you can move it back down again okay and it works in both directions there you go okay now you need to tweak this because uh, obviously this tank uh, you don't this tank here uh, when you if we if we tweak this a little bit we, we want the tank to still be able to fire horizontally even if it's uh, pointing to the rear of the uh, the tank itself all right so let's tweak this uh, we'll go not point maybe one 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 okay and have a look and just check the heights this is why these colliders are really important video number two I know it looks, sounds boring, the tank colliders, but this is where it really is important. And, you know, setting the tank up and getting the tank to work isn't one of the easiest things to do, okay? So we need to take our time with this. Now, here we can see there's a nice little gap there, and that's going to go into there. So let's have a little we'll hit play. And again, this is just tweaking. Right okay so it rotates nicely okay it goes okay so it's going down the minus 10 which is perfect all right that's what it's supposed to do so we've got a nice downward angle on the front there which is what it's designed to do okay and if we keep rotating this now okay it's fine it's still not hitting the hole and now we get to the in engine compartment okay it's gone up to the horizontal and there you go all right now what you can do is you can actually tune this in here so you can go okay right if you want it to be like that or like that wherever you put this cube all right so it's probably something like 0 0.2 okay so there you go that's how to stop your barrel uh, uh, crashing into uh, the hull of the tank uh, when you rotate okay um, and 
there are other ways of doing it uh, but this one's pretty straightforward and there you go okay so now the tank can find nice and horizontally shoot anything no problem all right great thanks very much uh, hope you learned something uh, please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up if you like this uh, video and yeah hope you learned something and see you in the next video thank you